We are here at the first annual Hurricane for Hope Big Air Show and Benefit. Uh, we're here to support the Speedy Foundation and the Utah Olympic Legacy Foundation. Um, we're having a great time with a bunch of our guests and we're going to have an amazing show here this evening. The Speedy Foundation was um, formed in honor of our former teammate, um, Jarrett Speedy Peterson, who passed away last season. Um, he lost his battle with depression and we are here to carry on his legacy. To, um, for him, he was really interested in making sure that there was awareness and, uh, and um, a reduced stigma around mental, mental illness and depression. And uh, so we're here doing that with him today, um, raising money to develop programs um, for, to uh, help future athletes and um, really just hope that uh, what he had to deal with will not have to be dealt with ever again. I'm up at the park today to uh, honor my good friend uh, Speedy. Um, Speedy was uh, a friend. Uh, he was a tremendous ambassador to, um, to the United States. He really set a great example for so many young kids, and uh, it was a great it was a great loss. And uh, it's really hard, you know, with you know the ups and downs of you know being an athlete and, and having great success and coming up and down. It, it's something that you know we should really look into and help and support other athletes. And uh, I'm just happy to be up here at the park today and uh, and be thinking about my good buddy Garrett Peterson. This means a ton to be a part of this. I uh, we've been kind of working on things for about a year now, and there's been a lot of excitement, a lot of uh, community involvement, but we didn't really know where to direct that energy. And so to culminate in this event, it's really exciting, and uh, we're just really excited to finally get it out there and just get the ball rolling. Gosh, it's a it's a flood of emotions. I'm really grateful that this uh, community holds uh, our athletes with such love and endearment and comes out in such a strong force. You know, it's a, a bittersweet occasion why we're here, but it's clear the collective consciousness is to do something positive uh, not only for the community, but most importantly, in loving memory of our dear friend Speedy. Well, Speedy was always enthusiastic. You know, that was the one thing I really remember about Speedy is he was always happy. He was always, you know, giving it his all. And I think that anyone that um, knew him knew that he was just, you know, he just had this passion for skiing, passion for the sport. And, uh, and I think that's something you can take away. Uh, this really means everything. Uh, the aerial and freestyle world is a really tight-knit community and when something happens to one of our own, we all want to go in and contribute. And I really think it would mean a lot to Speedy that we are all here and all giving back to a cause that's meant something to him and has affected him in his life. Speedy pushed the envelope. He was someone who is a risk taker and he went out there and he lived through his passions, uh, both good and bad. And uh, he really pushed things so that other athletes are going to have to live up to new expectations and I, I really think he would be proud to see how far everything has come. It is so important for me to be here for the Hurricane for Hope. Um, it just, it's truly surreal that Speedy is not with us anymore, you know? Every time I think about all these amazing athletes and what they've accomplished and watching the Olympics and knowing what he did as an athlete um, and that he's not here, it's just, it's so surreal. So to be here in support of that and, you know, making sure that that people have an outlet and they know what to do um, with people that are, you know, possibly gonna commit suicide, it really means a lot to me. So to bring awareness, to celebrate his life and be here um, with all those memories really means a lot. Very close to my heart, this foundation, it, um, helps educate people about mental illness uh, as well as suicide prevention, which, um, you know, there's a lot of people out there that don't realize there's help out there. And, uh, and it, just the right, the, right, uh, the right doctors, the right people, and the right support uh, can get anybody through any of this. And uh, that's what this is here for, so we can help raise awareness. It's huge, you know, and for, to, to have uh, everybody put their time and effort into putting this event on. Um, to open up the awareness of mental illness is, is huge and Speedy, you know, had such an impact on everybody in this, in this town, in Boise, across the world. So it's going to get recognized, it's just going to take some time, but every year we're going to build and build uh, to hopefully save others, other people's lives. For more information on the Speedy Foundation and the Utah Olympic Legacy Foundation, please see thespeedyfoundation.org and the Utah Olympic Legacy Foundation.com.